What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking to Jordan 4, Military Black. So stay tuned. Brother is engaged, but to start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna find, but appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. All right, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. All right, so let's dive into today's video. We're talking to Air Jordan 4, Military Black. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over here today. We're gonna be answering a basic old question. Are they drip, flip, or skip? Let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release May 21st, to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $210, right? Okay, now of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and looked like they're averaging $320 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay. Now, let's just state the obvious about this sneaker, right? Right off the rip, you can't mention the Military 4s without the Military Blue 4s, right? Okay, which I believe those dropped back in 2012, but don't quote me on that. But pretty much, it's just like that shoe, except the Military Blue, well, obviously you got blue. But now we got the Military Black, and you can't really go wrong with white and black sneakers, and you can't go wrong with a Jordan 4, right? Okay, now we can arguably say like, hey, this gives me a little bit of Panda vibes, because obviously that's another white and black shoe well obviously a very popular sneaker right okay so no difference with this now one thing i will say about jordan 4s right as we all love them because pretty much almost nearly any colorway that touches them it's just classic it's just timeless you you can't hate on it and this is no different right okay now there are some basic four colorways where it just didn't take off the way Jordan Brand think it would, but I'm sure it still did well. Now, when we get this two-tone type of, we got grayish on the toe, and of course we got the black, and then we got the white, right, okay? Can't go wrong with it. My only complaint about fours, right? If I gotta throw out some little shade, right? It's not a shoe you wanna wear for a very, very long time, and I gotta put that to all my fours, right, okay? Best looking? Sure, we can debate that all day long. But comfort level? different ball game right off the rip for me personally and i can think of that because i just got those junior fours what sometime this year right i love that shoe nice but arguably the most uncomfortable shoe in my collection and my fours are it's hit or miss man they, they they're not a shoe you want to wear for a very very long time but neither here nor there back to the topic at hand these military fours man the military jordan four black the black military fours right am i saying this all over the place I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the drip category. This is a nice fire sneaker, man. You can't go wrong with it. I definitely wouldn't mind having it in the collection. Will I pay resale for it? No. I mean, you could possibly put this in the flip category because I feel like this is a shoe that I can see this peaking up over time, right? It's starting at what? Resale market is at $300 and up. I don't see these going anything less than 400 over time. And I'm gonna just keep it there for me. But I'm not here to flip them. Like I said, if I can grab them for retail, definitely would grab these for retail but i will not pay resale for these however these are going to be a drip for the kid but i want to know what you guys think down in the comment section and will you be going after these on may 21st retailing at 210 dollars and of course let me know if you think they're drip flip or skip all right man i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here and stop rambling man y'all be sure to hit that like button really helps the channel out and if you know consider subscribing i make content about sneakers Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.